Seven. Good. Good. You with me? Good. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. The elementary technology program, for me, is a way that we can teach the younger kids how to use some of the digital tools that we have in Linden. And Linden is a one-to-one -one district, and to my knowledge, it has more tech resources than any district that I know of. Do you guys ever notice that when you play stuff online, people don't always have the nicest things to say? I want to make sure that the kids who are in my class know how to use these tools so that when they go to middle school and when they go to high school, they can focus on content and they can use those tools to the best of their ability. It is a very exciting, um, energetic job, which I really enjoy. I feel that my job as an elementary technology teacher is to expand the use of our one-to-one -one devices throughout the district um, and to make those devices more applicable to what they're learning in class. So I'm trying to incorporate not only skills that I would like them to learn, but the skills that they could also take back to the classroom and use with their individual teachers so that their skill is not just here in the technology classroom. Right? So now if this hand is frozen, now it forces this hand to do the work. Okay, so this hand is frozen, and now you have to use all these fingers. Yes. Yes. Like piano. Yeah. After that, um, we do a lot of um, really interesting projects, and as you can imagine, in a class of 20 or so children, for someone to videotape or share their voice, it becomes very difficult. So I've created these sound booths um, with. Uh, good old-fashioned sound foam and the students put their devices in and when they speak into it the sound is all absorbed and it really makes a big difference when they're recording because I really feel that the students need to have their own voice and this allows them to do that. You'll notice that when you talk out here your sound is bouncing off all of the different walls and all the different space okay when you use the sound box okay when you record you would sit okay and you could put your either your machine or your iPad into the sound box, okay? And then when you sit, you make sure that you talk into the box. Now when you talk into the box, you probably don't hear me as well out there, do you? No. no. Aha, isn't that cool? Yeah. So now all of my sound, instead of going out in the open space, is now going right to the device. And then okay? um, the, the classroom is very alive. Uh, the students are all working independently. I teach them a app or a program and they just run with it. Today's lesson was half of the students were doing what's called Flipgrid, where the students are using their own voice to explain about themselves. It allows for a more personal connection with me. So some students were over here using our sound pods and the video pods, while the rest of the class was at their seat working on their keyboarding and communication skills with the computer. We're going to be talking about online communities today. I'm very excited about this. So here's what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to use this, these tools to have a talk. But we are not going to be saying anything out loud at all, not one word. We're going to have this entire conversation online. The hope is that after the lesson, the kids walk away with an understanding of the difference between an online community and an in-person community. So the, the format of the lesson uh, and how we use Canvas is that it takes the place of sort of the traditional kid raising their hand and teacher calling on them model, sort of that whole class discussion model. We use Canvas and Padlet to turn that around. So what we do is, the question that I wanted them to answer was posted for them. The kids were able to read it, they were able to then answer it in a discussion post and talk about what was most important to them, the most important rule in an online community. From there, they were able to comment on each other's posts so they could really have a full discussion with each other without me necessarily having to direct it.
I am so impressed with your responses and how you guys commented on each other's responses. You use language that was in the pledge. Okay? If you guys do the things you said you were going to do in this discussion, you guys are going to be just fine. Okay? Give yourselves a little round of applause. Bravo. Well done.